Hey guys, it's me, Amanda, and you kind of see me waving in the glare, but um, I'm currently kind of reorganizing my collection room at the moment, so I figured since I'm up, I'm actually standing on a bed, so things are a little wobbly, that's why, balancing, but um, yeah, so I figured I would film my Funko collection while I was up here since I'm kind of rearranging things, and I don't currently plan on getting any other Funkos at the moment, so I will go ahead and start. So I'm going to move this out of the way because I do have some of them double stacked. So we'll start with like my two most expensive ones. I have Carl and Ellie, the two pack from Up, and that is from uh, the 2019 Summer Convention. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of Up, but I do love this pop because it has the balloon and they're little, and she's holding the My Adventure book, which I love going on adventures, so it's perfect. Then I have the Up House, which is my second most expensive pop um, as far as like value now on the Funko app. And this is from, I'm kind of blind, the 2019 Fall Convention. So that is those ones. And then if you pop over here, I have uh, this movie moment. It's Jafar as a Serpent with Aladdin. Um, it says it's a Hot Top exclusive, but it was actually an exclusive to um, the, what used to be the Disney Treasures box when it flipped over to Hot Topic. And up here, I have Maleficent as a Dragon, and that is from the Disney Treasure, Treasures box when I used to get that. I got every single one of the boxes, and I got all the ones at Hot Topic. Unfortunately, it doesn't exist anymore. I used to love that box. It was a Funko and Disney collab box. In this movie moment, Hook and TikTok is another one that is from the Hot Topic um, exclusive Disney Treasures box. And these two are also Hot Topic exclusive Disney Treasure ones. And it's Scar with the Flames and Finding Your Voice movie moment. So you can see Ariel has the wave around her. She's on the rock. And then he has Flame. There was actually a Chase variant of Scar that had red flames, but I was okay with the green ones. And then, I'm going to slide this in front. It is the Sleeping Beauty Castle with Mickey Mouse. And this is for the 65th anniversary. I absolutely love this pop. And I really want to get the one with Walt in the castle when it releases. Alright, so I'm going to do some rearranging. And then, um, actually, no, we're not. Okay, because we're going to do this little shelf here. So this one is um, another pop ride. And it is Woody with the RC car. I absolutely love RC, and so um, when they got RC car, oops, you can kind of see me in the reflection, but um, when they had the RC car as a pop, I had to get it. <laughs> Here we have the Pizza Planet truck, and there's actually like, you can see it on the picture here, but I don't know if you can see it in the pop, oh, maybe a little bit, but there's actually like a tiny version of Buzz in the, it's like a keychain pop size inside the truck but this was a 2018 convention exclusive and if we go up here I have the 20th anniversary Woody and Buzz and then behind these oh, behind these ones don't worry I got it guys um, I have the box exclusive exclusive of Woody kind of like in black and white form and then I have the Toy Story 4 Amazon exclusive of Buzz floating. So I'm going to go ahead and stop, rearrange, and we'll be right back. Alrighty, so moving right along, as you can see, I do keep pops in front of other pops. Unfortunately, I don't have enough space to not do that, but um, I try and keep the ones that I really love visible. Um, obviously, I do cover up the up house just because it's so big and it's like... It's hard to just display it on its own without like losing a ton of space. So I do have the Hot Topic Diamond Edition of Maleficent and she goes along with her dragon form. Then the two pops from The Incredibles. Um, I have Violet and then I have Edna as Jack-Jack because I can't afford the actual Edna pop because it's crazy expensive. But this is a 2018 Summer Convention exclusive and then moving down I have Shmi and Tinkerbell which this was the first Tinkerbell in the 
as far as I know, the only Sneeze still. Um, and these were uh, Disney Treasure exclusives, once again, that D Funko Disney collaboration box. And then I have the Diamond Edition. Oops. Let's see if I can pull that out a little bit. Just because there's a wall there. I have the Diamond Exclusive, um, which just means it's really glittery version of Tinkerbell from Hot Topic. There as well. All right, so we're gonna stop again. Ready? So up next, I do cover my RC one, like I said. Um, I do know it's behind them, and like every once in a while, I will, you know, kind of like rearrange them so I can see different pops at different times. And like obviously, I pull pops out. Like you'll see some of the holiday ones later. But here are my other two Toy Story ones. I have the Toy Story Land grand opening box lunch exclusive. Um, metallic army man and the diamond exclusive hot topic alien moving on i have the disney park exclusive splash mountain pop ride so it is br'er rabbit and br'er bear on the log going down that big hill you can see the water splashing up i really love splash mountain so i had to grab this and it's especially meaningful now that they're going to change the ride and up here I have my three pack, also a Disney Park exclusive um, of Br'er Rabbit, Br'er Fox, and Br'er Bear. It is the 30th anniversary of Splash Mountain at Disneyland, so I picked that one up as well. And then up here is another park exclusive um, of uh, Pele and the Barker Parrot. I absolutely love the Enchanted Tiki Room, so I had to grab this when it came out. Let's see, there. I have a couple more park exclusives. So here, this is, a, this is a park exclusive. It doesn't have the actual sticker on it because I got it from Shop Disney. But I am going to, I heard that if you contact Funko, they'll send you the sticker. So I think I'll try and do that. So this is Jungle Cruise. As I've mentioned, Jungle Cruise is one of my favorite rides at Disneyland. So you can see it's the Congo Queen and it has a little skipper in the front. I absolutely love this. And then we have the Matterhorn Bobsled um, pop ride. And it has the Yeti in it. They did make an exclusive one of these for one of the conventions and it had Mickey in it. And I absolutely fell in love, but it was so limited that like it just wasn't gonna happen. So I was glad that they came out with this shortly after so I could have um, the pop ride version of um, the Matterhorn. And up here we have the 2019 exclusive Moana and Pua on Boat. There you go, and I just really love that it has Moana, Pua, and Hey Hey. And I love the little squirrel on the boat, I just really love it, so I was glad I could pick that up. And right here, this is another Disney Treasure exclusive. It is The Rescuers, and it's Orville, and it has Bianca and Bernard on his back in the little sardine can. And it's just, it's a really cute one, it's a pop ride, sorry about the light guys. But yeah, no, I love that one. Then up here, we kind of have more. These are all park exclusives or Shop Disney exclusives. Um, here we have Victor Geist. This one recently came out. And he is from the Haunted Mansion. He's playing the organ. Then next to him, I have Red from Pirates of the Caribbean. And then if you go above, we have Ezra and the Buggy and Madame Leota. And that one glows in the dark. Ooh, that did not make it better, guys. Let's try that. Let me see. I'm just gonna grab her. Cause the lighting is really bad for her. Can you see her? There we go. And I do have most of my pops that are like the regular size. I do have a lot of those in pop protectors that I bought from Shumi, so I'll go ahead and put them down below too. So these are the ones that are kind of on my top shelf, and this is kind of what my top shelf looks like. Generally, ignore the fact that I hung up things that do not have photos of yet. Like I said, I've been working on the collection room, so I've just kind of been trying to block things out. And I like to leave room to grow, so that's one of my room to grow areas. <laughs> But yeah, so we'll go ahead and stop and we'll go down to the next shelf. Alrighty, starting back up. So these ones and these shelves um, do go three deep. So 
So these are the ones that I currently have in the back. And, um, like, I'm not a completist when it comes to Funkos at all. The only one, like, I have a couple sets that I really absolutely love that I've completed, but there's just, like, way too many, um, there's way too many pops to try for me to be completist. Especially with, like, spacing and stuff. So I just try and collect the ones that um, I really truly love or that are exclusives because those ones are the ones that are harder to find later and if I ever move I can it's fairly easy to try and find commons later on so but some of them I do collect the full collections for and you'll see those coming up because I do have those ones on display so here we have Pluto and he was a Disney treasure exclusive up next, we have two Diamond Princesses um, from Hot Topic and Mulan and Snow White. Then we have another one that was a Disney Treasures exclusive, and it's Bambi. And he's on, like, this, it's the scene where he's sitting on the ice. It's so cute, guys. And then I have Flocked Sully from Amazon. And I have um, the Narwhal from elf and that was a Toys R Us exclusive and I bought this one because I had the Toys R Us exclusive. I mean I do also love the movie but like if we're being 100% office, honest I loved Toys R Us and I was so sad when it went out of business so I just I had to grab Toys R Us exclusive. <laughs> Alright I'm gonna pop the next row in and we'll get started again. Alright so here is where I have the rest of my Moana pups. I do love Moana. So here Maui is a short kid. It was a 2018 spring convention exclusive. So it's like when his changing goes wrong. Then I do have Taka and Tafiti next to each other just because I absolutely love the scene where she's singing and she puts the heart back in. Spoiler if you haven't seen the movie. I mean, hopefully you have. It's one of my favorites. If you haven't, go watch it immediately. Um, but I do love that scene and the transformation and how something simple can make something beautiful again. Um, we have the Amazon exclusive of Pooh and Hey Hey because this was um, one of the only ways you could get Pooh and Hey Hey before the boat came out. And then I do have the Box Lunch exclusives, um, Earth Day exclusives. These came out on separate years. I have both Wally and Eve. And then I have another one that you'll see later in the collection from the um, Earth Day exclusives. But that's why the box is darker, because it's, like, recycled. Alright, I'm going to pop the next set in, and I'm actually going to go over to the other side, because I keep my completer sets on the outside. Alright, so in previous videos, I mentioned these ones. Um, this is the Saturday Night Live More Cowboy. I absolutely love that one. And this is the Dick in a Box from the Lonely Island, but I love that <laughs> sketch. It was so funny. So, and my friends and I used to joke about it all the time, so that I had to grab that one when it was available. This one is the Christmas Wishes Care Bear. It was, sorry, there's a lot of dust up here. This was a 12 Days of Fungo exclusive, I think, from the Funko shop. And then this is the America Cares Bear. So it's like 4th of July themed and it was also a limited edition Funko shop exclusive. This one here is Lucky from Despicable Me. Once again, I just grabbed this one because I have the Toys R Us sticker. I might be getting rid of Lucky since I have the Narwhal now. I'm not sure um, what the situation is going to be, so more info to come. Alright, this next shelf is where I keep my office pops. I have Pam Beasley. I have the box lunch exclusive of Jim Jest as Dwight. And I have the 2019 Fall Convention exclusive of Dwight holding a bobblehead of himself. Love that scene. And then one of my absolute favorite scenes of all the office, I had to grab this one, is from Safety Day. And it's when Dwight cuts the mask off of the CPR doll. That's like, I could watch that episode eight million times. And then, last but not least, I got Angela Martin holding her cat because it kills me. And I absolutely love the relationship of like Dwight and Angela and Jim and Pam so I had to grab those and this is my other Earth Day exclusive it is a box lunch exclusive Earth Day exclusive and it is Miko with Flit 
and I absolutely love Mika, so I had to grab that one as well. So I'm gonna put the next row of pops in, and then we'll show the whole front row. Alrighty, so here's the front row, and these are my favorite. Um, it's Christopher Robin, it has Eeyore, Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, and the Winnie the Pooh box list is exclusive, and it is flocked. And one of my favorite shows growing up was Doug. So I have Doug, Patty, I have the Chase, a uh, flock of pork chop, and then I have the regular pork chop. Then I have the Hot Topic exclusive Quail Man and Quail Dog. And I have the 2018 convention exclusive of Skeeter Valentine. And then last but not least, I have the scented Hot Topic exclusive Stitch holding the pineapple, or Tiki Stitch. That was from a box. A Disney Treasure exclusive box again so those are the ones that I always have on display because these are my favorites and these are the two that I have that are complete sets alrighty so moving right along to my dorb shelf I don't have that many they're mostly the Disney Treasure exclusive but it's the, it's a small world one um, and like I said this was a Disney Treasures exclusive and I love that ride so I was not disappointed this is also a Disney exclusive Dorb's Koala and then this is a Dorb's ride of Pirates of the Caribbean. And it has the Wicked Winch Captain with Pirate Ship. And then here, this was an exclusive to one of the boxes. Their pocket pops of Lady and the Champ, and their noses are magnetic and they actually connect. Super cute. And then this was like vinyl figures. It was for Mickey's 90th, and it was a 2019 Fall Convention exclusive and it just kind of has the old ones and I like the display case so I bought it then moving down we have Disney Treasure exclusive Ariel and Eric two pack and it is their wedding day so it's her wedding dress and him and his whites and then we have Diamond exclusive flounder from Hot Topic we have the box lunch exclusive Ariel like when she first comes out and this was a her Little Mermaid 30th anniversary. And last but not least, we have Dumbo with Timothy. And it was a Disney Treasures exclusive. You can kind of see Timothy up in the hat. So that is it for the shelves. So we'll move along. Oh, wait, no, there's one more shelf. Sorry. Alrighty, so here we have three of the shorts. I think I have almost all of the Funko Shop exclusive for the Pixar shorts. Like I said, I've, I love the Pixar shorts. I'm missing Bao, I believe, but he's so expensive I just can't. So this is um, one of the holiday ones exclusive and it is Knickknack and it's Home Sweet Gnome from the, and it like looks like a snow globe. I absolutely love that. This one is Piper from the Piper short and this was a Funko Shop exclusive. Then we have Presto from the Presto short and that was also a Funko Shop exclusive. I love the packaging on these because like that one looks like a hat, this one looks like they're on the beach, and then this one obviously looks like a snow globe. And then last but not least, on my shelves we have Rapunzel. This is the newest one, it's the box lunch, box lunch exclusive, and she is holding the lantern. And I'm really glad that I waited to get any Rapunzel ones because even though Rapunzel's one of my favorites, um, I guess I'm, I try and save space as much as I can. and. I love this one with the lantern, so I'm really glad I waited until this one came out. And her hair's braided, and it has flowers, absolutely love it. Alright, let's move on to my other set of shelves. Alright, so I am once again on a step stool because this is above the closet, because it's another great place if you're looking for places to store pops, do store pops above your closet, see? So here I have Fireman Dumbo, Dreamland Dumbo, and the Hot Topic Disney Treasure exclusive Baby Dumbo. So cute. This is also from the Duck Box. It's a Pop Keychain Dumbo Clown. Stitch 66 and Diablo. This I got for being the Disney Treasure uh, Year One um, subscriber and got all the boxes. This is my little reward statue thing. And then we're we'll moving over here. We have some minis all these um that one's from the parks it is it's a small world mini but all the other ones are from the disney treasure boxes and then here you see 24 of the little mini pops from the yule ball or fourth harry potter book and 
those are all from my advent calendar last year. I did a Harry Potter advent calendar. And then, once again, I love Harry Potter, but I try to only get the exclusives or the ones that are hard to find because I have a lot of other Harry Potter stuff. So this one is the Glow in the Dark Bunny Myrtle from the 2019, 2018 Summer Convention. And then we have Sirius Black. He came in a Harry Potter box. I'll show you that in a second. Then uh, this is a 2018 fall convention exclusive and it's Harry Hermione with the sorting hat on. Then we have Ron with the Howler and Hermione bring a potion. That was a Hot Topic exclusive. And then last but not least we have a Rita Skeeter and she was a 2019 summer exclusive. And then here are some of my other Harry Potter items. And I'm going to pause and jump over on the shelf. Alrighty, so there's actually the box that was the Harry Potter box that was exclusive to um, Hot Topic. I grabbed it because it had a bunch of fun stuff like these two items here. The five figure Harry Potter and the uh, Snape Bogart from Neville. And then I do have these rock candies. Um, I know they're not the, everyone's favorite but I had these ones because has Luna with the lion head, Luna with her glasses, and then has uh, some of the other ones. I think I'm missing Harry Potter and that's the only one I'm missing. But yeah, all right, moving right along. All right, guys, this is my Beauty and the Beast wall. I'll show you guys the rest of my Beauty and the Beast collection another time. So here are the Beauty and the Beast Funko Pops that I have. Um, I have some of the original ones, like the Beast and Peasant Bell and Belle and the Dime Exclusive Bell, but I do have every single one from the movie. So there's Bell, Beast, Beast Flocked, Lumiere, then if you go right down here, we have Cogsworth and Mrs. Potts and Chip, and then right down here we have Belle and her Celebration Gown, Belle Barnes and Newble Exclusive, the Walmart exclusive is a villager. Sorry about the glare, guys. Belle with her castle grounds, Target Bell, and then the little pop one. And then and lastly, I have the Being the Beast Hot Topic exclusive Enchanted Robes. Alright, so these are the last of the pops that are going to stay in my collection as of now. So I've showed this before the 50th anniversary archive thing of all the different Mickeys, these are the little minis. My mom actually really likes this one so I'm going to end up keeping Cheshire. Then we have the Santa Claus Hot Topic that was from a Disney treasure box. And then we have the Sanderson sisters, they're currently on display because it is almost Halloween when I'm filming this. So I typically put the Sanderson sisters out. These were the original Spirit of Halloween ones. So we have Winifred. Sarah and Mary, and then when I bring them in, I put Sandy Claus out. Alright, we'll be right back with some that I have currently that I am going to either use as traders or sell because they just don't bring me the amount of joy that I used to get out of them. I forgot to buy them Violet. So I do have Violet as a 5 star. That's going to go up top with my other Violet up there. Alrighty, and finally, these are ones that I've decided to either sell or trade. Um, because each time I go through my collections, I kind of, you know, reevaluate, like, space-wise and, like, what I've bought, and I kind of weigh, like, do I love this, do I not love it, you know? Um, just kind of, like, try and reassess everything, so, um, I, I don't even know why I was keeping this one, honestly. I got it from a mystery box, I obviously don't love Star Wars, so that's gonna go. I think I was also kind of intimidated by the whole shipping thing, but... I'm not as intimidated now because I have been doing a lot of mailing. And then a Shadow Heartless. I did play Kingdom Hearts, but I just don't really need the pop in my collection. I also got that from a mystery box. Um, I've decided to let go of Ellen. Um, not because I don't like her or anything, just because, you know. Um, I kind of bought this pop because it was going to sell out and it sold out and I was nervous that I'd want it later, so I bought it. But... Like, it doesn't really fit in with the rest of my collection. Um, 
Same with Weird Al, Hinkovic. Um, I got him from a mystery box and doesn't really fit well with my collection. That was a duplicate. And I know I just got this from Box Bunch, but I don't know. It's not my favorite. I like the other ones better. And it just doesn't kind of like these two packs and three packs are really hard to get to fit in, guys. So I decided to let this one go and keep the other ones because they um, make me happier. And then I think I'm going to try and trade this one because, like I said, it's not my favorite. It's hard to place in my collection because it's a three pack. And um, I might either try and sell or trade that one. And I have a couple more items that I'm going to be getting rid of soon. These are the last items that will be leaving my collection. This is a vinyl of Yogi Bear and Ranger Smith. It's from the Funko Shop. I just got it because um, I did love the Yogi Bear <laughs> Christmas special. But it kind of doesn't fit with the rest of my collection. I don't have any other vinyl figures. And it's kind of big. And not the same size as the other stuff. So I'm going to sell that to somebody who will enjoy it a lot more than I will. And then last but not least, this Incredibles 2-pack. They are not Funko. They are um, Barbies or dolls, whatever. They're not actual Barbies, but... I mostly bought it because it was a Toys R Us exclusive and I went a little crazy when they were closing trying to buy things that say said Toys R Us exclusive and it was an Incredibles too but like once again it's kind of a big bulky package I don't know if you guys can see the size on that but it, like it's really big so I thought I don't have room for it and then I obviously have other things that have Toys R Us exclusive and once again I think that this is an item that somebody else will really appreciate and it's just not something that fits with my collection necessarily. Um, so I want to make sure it goes to somebody who will definitely love this. But yeah, so that is my entire Funko Pop collection as of, what's today, October 26th? I guess it's the 26th. So, yeah, so I think this will go up probably October or November or December but I'm not planning on getting anything else I've kind of tried to scale back on Funkos just because like I said they take well, a ton of space and I just don't really have much more room so I'm just I'm definitely trying to like um, you know condense my collection size down and only get the ones that I really really want to have or um, from things that I truly truly love and that I will be able to, um, you know, that fit in with my collection. But yeah, so that is it. Do you guys collect Funkos? If so, do you guys, are you completists? Or are you guys like me and you just get the ones that you want or exclusives? Um, let me know what your favorite Funko Pop is that you have or that I have. My favorites are definitely, I love your from Christopher Robin. That is my favorite. I mean, obviously, I love the Beauty and the Beast ones, too, but those two are my favorites. All right, so if you made it this far, make sure you give the video a thumbs up, like it, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and yeah, that is my Funko haul as of now. I do have some more mystery minis that I can show at a later date, but those are kind of like specialty ones from the Disney Treasure Boxes, so I'll do a separate video on that, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!